Believe it or not, I've been doing this job for about five years now, and I've never actually had a home wall charger at my house. I've been at the mercy of the public charger unit, but thanks to Anderson EV, that all changes, and today's the day for installation. So I thought it might be a good idea to show you guys what it's actually involved in installing um, a home wall box charger. And this is Darren. And how long have you been installing these chargers uh, for? For two years now, we've been. Two years, so, yeah. perfect, okay. Now the charger arrived, and I'll show you how you, you basically order the charger online. And the one thing about Anderson is it's great in terms of the looks. They've got something like 200 odd 40 combinations you can have, either wood, construction, carbon fiber, aluminium. I've gone for an aluminium one, which looks nice, hopefully against the house. And, uh, and then you do a little kind of survey, an interior survey. Why is the interior survey important for you guys? For electrical installations, particularly car chargers, there's a lot of things to, con to consider. Mm. So everything uh, with your supply has to be adequate for the car charger. And then of course the cable route from your source of, of supply to the charger itself. That's uh, the difficult part, depending upon how far away your supply is, where the okay. charge is going to go. So that little survey that I did, when we like the photographs, and what well, you just do it with your mobile and upload it onto the Anderson. It's really easy to do. I've got to say that, and that just gives you guys a good idea. And it's things like where your consumer box is. Um, now there's some, there's a number I remember, something about this. So an MPAN number. That's the one. Yeah. So yeah, we have to provide an MPAN number from yeah. your electricity bill in order to notify the appropriate people for right. the installation. That number you'll find on your last utility your last electricity bill it's quite i think it's an 11 digit number or something 13, like that. 13 digits, digit yeah. number yeah that's yeah. it so that's perfect right so he's drilled a hole i didn't film that because there's not much exciting to see drilling a hole but now we're going to go across and we're going to start to position the charger where we want it on the wall so let's take a look at that so ordering your new anderson wall box charger for your home couldn't be simpler you just basically go on to the anderson website <laughs> And, or you can Google search Anderson EV. That comes up now. Now, there's two wall boxes available. There is the A2 and um, the A3. Um, and obviously Darren will explain the differences between the two of them. But if you want to know, you can also go down here. Now there's like effectively a configurator. So it's exactly like a, a car manufacturer would have. So there's all your different kind of metals then there's different woods, which obviously cost a little bit extra. And then there's a different, there's limited edition. And that's just for your front. And then there's the body color as well, which is the main actual body structure of the, um, of the, um, of the unit itself. So I've gone for, if I remember correctly, I went for Windsor gray in the body and Windsor gray on the front to match. Um, and you can view it in three dimensions. So you can kind of see all around it, what it looks like at the top and at the bottom. And then you just click on the order now and it'll take you through the process. It's just like buying something off any other sort of like home shopping site. And there's different options of how to pay as well. So they also have an easy pay option as well. So you just click on either one of those, whichever you decide to do it. And then it'll start your installation process as well. So the, the, the little sort of like survey that you're gonna to have to do with your phone, uh, I'll ask you to take particular photographs of your consumer board, which is your fuse box in your house. So it's probably a good idea to find out where all those things are in your house first. Have an idea of where you want to install it as well, because you'll also be asked to do a little video, perhaps of, sort of like from the consumer board to where the unit's going to be. And this is all to save time for the guys when they come out um, and ready for the installation system. However, if you don't, if you if you're a little bit you know, not particularly au fait with consumer boards and where you want things to be in the house and stuff like that, they can also come out and do it for you. But genuinely, it's so simple to order one of these. Right, so these unboxing videos seem to be quite popular on YouTube, so this is unboxing it. Um, so, yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? I mean, it's all well packaged, it's all covered and everything like that. Now, you go online to order these, and as you see, you choose your colour combinations. Now, I'm right in saying there's two units, isn't there? There's an A2 and an A3 with Anderson. What's the difference That's between correct. those? So, the A2 is a little bit bigger. Yep. Uh, it's capable of having a longer cable and it's capable of delivering up to 22 kilowatts. Right, now that's quite important. So in terms of the charging speeds, that's quite important. So from home, 
most people are only probably going to need a seven kilowatt because I'm right in saying for an 11 and a 22 kilowatt you need three phase electricity is that right? That's right yeah most people in the UK only have a single phase supply so a seven kilowatts what okay. most people can have. But if you are lucky enough to have them you've got that option with Anderson. Yeah then you if you've got a three phase supply you might as well go over 22 kilowatt charge yeah. car faster. Perfect perfect right so we all another thing about this I mean the aesthetics of it are just lovely it's all in this is it it's all encased in this um, and it lights up, isn't it? That's right. So when you open it... Yeah, when you open the lid, there's a light inside yeah. so you can see where your connector is. Uh, as you can see, the connector is all wrapped nicely, neatly wrapped Just away. all inside the charger. Yeah, the cables it? will tucked away inside next to these nice brushes. Oh, yeah, I hadn't realised this till the other day when I was looking at the video. And you've got brushes, so if you cross like a dirty pathway or something like that, when you wrap it all back up, it just it cleans the kind of cable and doesn't make it all so horrible on you the next time you use it. That's right, yeah. And I'm also right in thinking there's also a motion sensor light as well. So, yeah, if we look at the bottom, yeah. there is a light at the bottom. So, it's just here. Yeah. So, uh, as you approach it, a light will come on and shine downwards. So right. Help. So, nice if you little, come it? home late at night from work or something, you plug the car in, yeah. at least you can see it. And that's probably from a security point of view, that's quite good as well. You know, you can something's lit up. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it up against the wall and see what it's going to get mounted on the side of the house and go from there. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going to pop it here at the side of the house next to the gate where I can get a car parked up on the driveway here. So now we just have to kind of... Well, what we have, yeah, yeah, so where what do you do recommend is, it goes? What do you think? Well, there are regulations to how high you can have them. Right, okay. So we have to bear in mind that. So it's probably more like somewhere like down there. Okay. And then it's up to you to position it exactly where you want it, more left, more right, that sort of thing. Well, I think as long as we're kind of in the middle with this. Exactly in the middle will look really good. Yeah, perfect. Right, yeah. I'll leave you to drill that. I'm not going to give up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy with that position? So as you can see, the charging unit's now installed. Now, in fairness, you came, you arrived with me this morning at eight o'clock, and apart from yep. me faffing around and getting the kids to school, we started really just probably before nine o'clock by the time you'd done stuff. Yes. And it's now just before one. So that's yeah, pretty so about good. about four so hours for yeah. a full install, yeah, and that's including too... tidying up. And in terms of, you've done all tests, so what, you know, as, as well as mounting it there, so talk us through the kind of process that you've done just in that kind of four hours as quickly as you can. What, what did you do? Yeah, so installing the charger itself, and then obviously the supply cable from yep. your main supply, and then the cable itself has to have what we call dead tests in to make okay. sure the cable's adequate and safe. Yep. And then we install the uh, dedicated little fuse board just for your charger from your main supply. Right. So you've got your own trip switch just for the charger. Uh, and then power it on, configure it, and do some live tests just to make sure everything works, including plugging it into a car, seeing it all work. Right. Now, we've also you've also connected it to Wi-Fi because obviously it comes with an app, and that's one of the nice things with the Anderson app, which I downloaded, really good. You can schedule everything through it and set it all up, you know, to, to program the times it stops and it starts and obviously how much it's going to cost and keep an eye on your energy costs as well. So yeah. that's connected via Wi-Fi, isn't it? So yeah, so the box itself is connected to your house Wi-Fi yeah. and then your, the app is then connected to this box. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Right, so we've done all that, we've cleaned it, it's looking nice on the wall, so we're going to plug it into your car and make sure that it all works now. Yeah. yeah. Perfect, right. So what we do is we yeah. lift the lid yeah. and then we can take the connector out from the top See, this is the thing, it's all integrated into the box. Yeah, then you unwind as, as much as you need. You don't have to unwind it all. You don't have to do a lot, do you? Well, hopefully. And of course, this is just going to depend, obviously, on where your charge flap on your car is. I've gone for a five metre cable, I think, which is the standard yeah, size, the, isn't it? With this A3, the cable is the five and a half metre. Five and a half metre, right. So, I mean, which is lengthy enough. Yeah, that's probably going to do it, isn't it? Yeah, and there's 
Yeah, that's the full length. There it, we yeah. go. Right, and then we've got obviously our lovely Anderson branded MG5 estate here. And you click that in. And you start hearing some clickers as it's running through some processes and some checks. It starts what we call a handshake with the car. Okay. And then... Ah. Yeah, that's it. That final, it? yeah, then that final click means it's now charging. And what we'll see now is uh, a pulsating green light. Now, what, interesting, you were saying something earlier, which I thought was interesting, which I hadn't realised, in terms of if you're leaving a, char a, a wall box plugged into the car, the car will tell the wall box when it's had enough, and then it yeah. stops charging, doesn't it? It doesn't try to put more power in than necessary. Is that right? That's right. It makes a, a good, con uh, a con it has a conversation with, with yeah. the charger, and it tells the charger when it wants charging. Yeah. It tells the charger when it's full and it doesn't want charging. Okay. And then it just tells the charger to shut off. And it does. And it doesn't matter if you left it plugged in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So you could go away for the weekend leaving one of your cars yeah, it wouldn't plugged no in. Harm. It wouldn't make it. It's not going to harm the battery, unlike no. obviously a smartphone, as you said earlier. Yeah, it would damage it. It would it, damage, yeah. a, damage the battery on it. Well, I have to say, I'm really impressed. The first thing about it is the, the neatness of how it looks. I mean, that's obviously the first thing that just looks really, really impressive, obviously. And obviously, it's blended in with the grey of the house and stuff like that. But it's the quickness and the, the tidiness of you guys' installation. It's been amazing. It's been superb. Now, obviously, that's taken a, a length of time because it's been a fairly straightforward install. Yes, yeah, this it? one has been quite a straightforward one. But you're saying, obviously, the customs, the, the survey that we talked about at the beginning, I think, as well, it's obviously saying, you know, maybe if you've got different fuse boards or you're not quite sure what you have to do in terms of that survey is, as a consumer, you guys can do that as well? Yeah, so for an additional fee, we yeah. do carry out the site survey yeah. ourselves. So one of our installers, like myself, will go to your house and, and run all of the necessary checks and tests and come up with a plan with the customer on how and where to install the charger and how the cable's going to be installed. So yeah, so it's not just the case it slaps anywhere, you start to talk to the yeah. customer about where you want it and exactly, where it should go yeah. and what's going to be from. And that's not done on the same day, the survey's done on a separate day, is that correct? Yeah, so you we do a really make a big plan as you say about yeah, it. Yeah, the survey will come out and do a survey and then yeah. you might have the install like a week or two later perhaps. Well, I have to say I'm super impressed. I've now got a wall box after four <laughs> years of reviewing electric cars, which is going to be great. Um, I can't thank you enough, Dan. It's been an absolutely brilliant pleasure. And thank well, you for, for being so, so swift and sorting all out for us. Well, you're very welcome. Thank Glad you. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> there we are, folks. Anderson EV, proud sponsors of the Auto EV Road Test Review. This is what they look like. Check them out.